Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This video is going to be an updated version of what's on my iPhone. Plus, I'm going to customize my phone setup with the new iOS 16 update. As you can see, my phone looks very basic now. And this is my home screen. So they are different. I don't follow a specific theme. And the only widgets I have here is like the weather. So nothing too interesting. I'll try to make this as interesting as possible while keeping it very, very minimalistic as I like because as I said in my other video, I actually really like the default icons that iPhone has, so I'll try to only change this page. So to customize your lock screen, you just click, you hold, look at this astronomy ones, these are so cool. You can choose up to six emojis and the layout as well gradients these ones are really really cool yesterday i've already tried a couple layouts that i really really like and i just want to recreate it on camera so you guys can see how i customize my phone this is the before a very basic looking phone let's elevate this phone <laughs> let's get started use as a wallpaper let's see i'm just gonna pinch it Okay, I think it looks good. Let's go with this. I don't like this chunky font for the time, so I'm just gonna go with the default. Now I'm just gonna set it as a wallpaper pair for the moment, and let's see how it looks. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, what happened here? What the hell? <laughs> I found an app, it's called Top Widgets. If you click on lock screen, you can add really cute shapes. So let's say I want to put a heart, save, and it will be saved. <laughs> also, I need phone battery, so I'm going to put this, save, and that's it for now. Or maybe should I go for a dynamic heart? Does it look better? We'll see. Let's save, and let's go to the lock screen again, cold, customize, Top widgets, dynamic number one. Oh my god, so pretty. Tap and change. Yes, battery. Then the weather. And this. I think this one actually changes when you connect your AirPods. Let's see. If I open my AirPods, will it change? I swear, yesterday it changed to the AirPods icon, but today it just won't do it, I don't know why. I'm not sure if this will consume your battery more. I hope not, because it's too cute and I want to keep it like this. So as for the color, I actually want to pick a color from the heart. There are themes that you can see like how many people use it. The reason I don't use a theme like this is because you cannot save the whole theme like with the widgets and because I like to change a lot I'm always changing my lock screen and home screen I would probably get really tired <laughs> after like five days so I just rather not put a lot of effort for something that just won't do for me This heart is so pretty. I'm just so happy. Look at this. Let's go to the home page. I don't want to change a lot, but I'm going to try to change like two or three icons and make them like lilac or more aesthetic, more just fitting, matching. Even though I really, really like this bright colors, I just want to change because I've always had my iPhone like this. So I think it's good to change. And first of all, I'm going to remove this, I think, Rakuten Viki, the app that I used to watch dramas. I want to put it in a folder just because I use it on my iPad more. So, And these are the apps that I use the most. I think I'm going to change Pinterest, Twitter, and Messages. Logo.
So you want to go on shortcut here. If you don't have it, download it. And you want to click on open apps. Click on this highlighted part. When you click on add to home screen, it will let you choose the name again and the picture. Choose photo. Oh, no. You would choose add and it's there. Let's do the same thing for Twitter and Pinterest. So normally I would go on Widgetsmith. I saved this once yesterday. Let's go on Medium. Let's change it to Rilakkuma. And there you go. Do we like it? I'm not sure. I think something like calendar could go. Let's try to add it. Oh my god. Honestly, yes. Let's put it here. What do we think? Honestly, I like it. It's very minimalistic and it's just really cool. The reason why I don't change other icons is the fact that if you use the shortcut to change the iPhone, there's always this pop-up messages that comes out every time that you open the app. So that's really annoying. Like if I had to do it for every single app that I open every minute, I don't know, it just wouldn't look good. You see, it's like every time. So I don't know if there's a way to remove this if there is, please let me know because it's annoying. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I don't think I would change more. I like this pop of red because it matches the calendar and the probably matches here and the background as well. I think this can go. So yeah, guys, this is my phone. Let's try with music. Let's try to find a cover that matches Wow, oh my god. Looks good, looks good. Now let's move to what's my iPhone. So the first app I have is a period tracking app. I'm not going to open it, but I think it's really uh, functional because you can keep track of anything. YouTube app and Pinterest. This is my Pinterest. Um, a bunch of DPR in BB 3D aesthetic <laughs> Jenny Pinterest is like my number one app I think I'll put a link if you want the wallpaper that I use and I think I'll also create a public folder to put all of these pictures that you can use for your iOS setup or just lock screens or whatever you want this is my kind of aesthetic I also have a bunch of CD pictures just like the ones I put on my wall in the other video. And I have Twitter. I have a, an account for Mimiju. I do not use it. I'm also 20 now, not 18 anymore. So uh, Telegram, just normal messaging app. This is my Instagram if you're interested. I don't post my face. I always try to post stories and just keep up with you guys. I mostly use Twitch for Animal Crossing purposes. <laughs> I only use it for treasure islands. They make the game like a hundred times better. Like these three. Nothing has changed much from my last video, but I still want to show you. I added Vinted and Alibaba so you can find very amazing deals. Um, like, yeah. Anything that you're looking for. And it's also very intuitive. It's kind of like an AliExpress, but it's more for people who have like business and want to buy a really big amount of just one product and then sell it. I really recommend this if you want to start like a small business because you can also customize your own keychains and just like teddy bears, literally anything. You can contact the supplier and you can negotiate everything. Then AliExpress, Amazon, Douglas, and Shane. As for Shane, I bought clothes from Shane, but I use it mostly for like stationery, like these pens are from Shane as well. This, this AirPods case is from Shane. In my games folder, I have Candy Crush. Everyone knows what Candy Crush is. Pocket Love. It's basically you and your lover. 
you can move things around also there's a shop and it's called the amazing shop and you can buy really cute things every day and also you can watch ads they have other furniture also every day you get random packages of furniture or clothes yeah these are shelves kuma sushi bar Uh, yeah, then I have my finances folder. Nothing to show you here really. It's just personal cards and money and things like classroom. Why is it here? I don't even go to school anymore. And then YouTube studio. Just look at how my videos are going. Like my last vlog isn't going too well, but it's okay. It's me just setting my desk. This desk actually, so spoiler. I have the fun folder. So I already talked about Vicky, but about TikTok. So the thing is, I use TikTok a lot. But the reason why I have it in the folder is that if I have it on the main page, I'm always tempted to open it. And TikTok is one of the most time consuming activities. You don't re even realize when you've been scrolling for like three hours straight. Tumblr, my last research was BB photo shoot. And... I like it because I'm always very inspired by Tumblr, Netflix, and also Reddit. My favorite subreddit is actually K-pop on popular opinion because I'm very curious about what other people think about, I don't know, just idols in general, like this. Video Lip is just a very normal editing app, like cut, add music whatever you want. The same thing you do on CapCut, but CapCut is like a hundred times better. I use it on my iPad, but if you want, I can make a separate video about it. Click on text template. There are so many things that you can use also social media. This one is my favorite, but you can edit the text. Mimi Joo. Hello, it's Mimiju, and then let's go to Ikea, like very random, but just try it. Have fun with this. Fonto to make my thumbnails. You can curve the text like this. You can change the color. That's it. And then you save it. But it's cool because there are so many fonts that you can use, like look, preview app. Use to upload pictures to see if they look good together on Instagram. Like for example, I'm uploading this dumpling pictures, let's say, and there you go. You can see how it, it is and you can also move them around to make your feed perfect. BSCO, let's take a picture. These are the popular ones that you get, but these are like the only ones that are free. The other ones you have to pay for. I use this app mostly to add a grain to my pictures because... What? You have to pay for it now? Oh my god, I didn't know this. Let's pretend I did not see it. Meitu is a Chinese app that you can use to put makeup on yourself. Put filters or makeup. Make sure you click on reshape and you can change the lips, change the eyes, the nose, like this. Pixart, everybody knows this app. Moodboard is an app that I use mostly on my iPad actually to make cute mood boards when I feel inspired. Let's say you want to create a college with this, like this. And you can go like forward or back and add text. One thing I don't like about this is that you cannot rotate the text. So this is the only way you can make it. Then I have desk cam. Let's try it. They say that it makes really good vintage pictures and honestly, yes, it does. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Productivity I have the day before, which has nothing to do with productivity, but I didn't know where to put it. Uh, it's an app that you can use to keep track of how many days go by since like one specific date or things like that. O Waves is the app that I already used in the other video. Then I have Skype. I put it in productivity because it's an app that I used to use with my best friend when we would do our homework together. 
meet um i have it for the same reason and then zoom and here is my screen time an embarrassing screen time considering that it's 4 p.m and the day is still very long i also want to show you some apps for my app library that i don't know where to put in my folders um the first app i want to show you is q app so basically if you have a list of movies let's say you go on your notes Let's copy this list and then you go here. If you copy it on the app, it will make you a list. Now, some of them are not the ones I was looking for, like this, High Society, The Proposal, these ones, these are, these are not the ones I was looking for. Guys, go watch this drama because it's the best drama ever. Trust me, trust me, if you want to watch it, it's on Netflix. Another app I want to show you is Crunchyroll, a simple app that you can use. Am I not logged in? Why? But you can find a lot of animes, really, really cool animes. This is the best legal site to watch animes, so the quality is great. Um, the subtitles are great as well, so download Crunchyroll if you like animes. I don't think I have other apps to show you. WhatsApp and Apple Music as well. Go listen to Jackson Wang's new album, Magic Man. It's amazing, especially Cruel, uh, All The Way, and Dopamine. These are next level. The Weeknd, and I just love him so much. I've been loving him for so many years, and just my favorite artist ever. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram and like this video, subscribe, share this video. This is the final result, you guys. I hope you like this video. Mwah.